the scenes in the deserts of San Felipe as the people are gathered to watch the second leg of the Nora 1000 leave town. Cars have been le- leaving for the last hour or so and they're still leaving now. Some retro cars have been coming through recently and I just want to point out that these trails that you see here, these race roads, are the same trails that Desert Adventure Tours will take you down in order to let you try and experience some of the racing. Here comes, uh, here comes a bug. Now this is where it all started. That guy's going to be out in the desert all night tonight and right on his butt we got this big guy, look at Bronco coming through. Oh, look at the air there, I hope I got that on video. If you really like the videos that we do, please uh, subscribe. Oh, here we go, look at this. Car 136, it's gonna be interesting just a mile down the track when these guys come together. It's gonna be a race over there. People are gonna really get some enjoyment out of that race. So if you really enjoy the videos that we do for you here, uh, in and around San Felipe, letting you know about events, the racing, and everything else going on around San Felipe, find us on YouTube under Desert Adventure Tours and subscribe to our page because you know what? It's going to help us and it's very motivational. If we uh, don't get the support, then maybe we'll just end up uh, not doing as many or slowing down. You don't have to watch them and there is no fee, so it's all free. All you got to do is hit subscribe. Thanks. The cars are coming fast and furious now. There's a 2900, means it's a turbo. We're also waiting for a local uh, car number 711. It's a seven truck and uh, it's a local truck owned by Dick Bartell. I don't know who's driving today, but uh, it was brought home safely by Dave Dietrich uh, last night, sometime around the uh, seven o'clock uh, mark. And they should be coming out that uh, under that tunnel anytime. But now some more retro cars. Everything races here, everything. There's a Manx, a Myers Manx. I'm guessing it's a Myers Manx driven by uh, Tim somebody or other. But there are some cool cars in this race. Or rally. It stops every night, for those of you who don't know. It stops every night on its way down uh, to, the, to the tip of the peninsula. Look at these cars. Thousand miles in that. It's going to be hot. Engine heat in, is incredible in some of these vehicles, and it is a ter- test of endurance, not just on the machine, but on the drivers as well. Now, they do have driver changes along the way, but it is still intense. You're taking a pounding in that car, and today is supposed to be in the neighborhood of 33 degrees or something like that, somewhere between 90 and 100 degrees. It'll probably be hotter in the desert. Look at these guys. How much fun. Living their dreams, making memories. It's being ch- Oh, look at the air on that thing. Look, you've got some trouble up here. They're gonna get bottled up here as they try and get up there. Some deep sand, and some of these cars just aren't made for deep sand. They can't all do everything, and that's one of the things we're dealing with uh, in a race like this, any race in in off-road. It's all kinds of terrain. Now, there's a couple of cars coming through here right now, and they're gonna be close together as well. I can hear another one coming under the bridge, so he's only a few seconds behind him. And that's a big car. That's a one car. He's gonna, he's gonna, he should be able to step on that guy anytime. And there's another one behind him. And this is a two car, two car, I guess. Look at that thing. That's three on top of each other. I'm telling you, the race up the road would have been phenomenal because we're getting three cars coming under this bridge at a time. There it is. That's truck 711. That's a local boys uh, co-op racing. Uh, owned by Dick Bartell, brought in safely by Dave Dietrich last night, but he's being chased by this car, 0690. Um, like I said, these cars aren't built for everything. Oh, there's another Myers Manx going through. And again, just up the road, there's going to be a heck of a race. It's going to be fun to watch as these cars pick up speed and go. There's a fourth car coming through. That's a single single seat driver. That's a cool little car. Right behind him is a, is a four seat Razor uh, 434. Uh, four cars, five cars in a row. That's going to be very exciting just up the road. I wish that's where I was right now. I hear another one coming too. 428 is going through. He's going to lose some stuff before the end of this trip. He's already got some stuff untied back there. Uh, and he's uh, only two miles into his trip. Something must have happened just up the trail because these cars were backed up quite a ways. And now we've just had seven, eight, nine cars go through. These cars are getting a lot of air and taking a pounding in this section of the course. And this, again, is within the first two miles of the start line of the second leg of the Nora 1000. 